Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create any kind of payroll calendar in Excel within a couple of minutes using our Excel template. Let's get started. So first, we start with typing the year. So this is 2023. And then we give a name to our calendar. Let's call it a payroll calendar. And then for the specific type of events that we're going to display on the calendar, I'm just going to call it a day day event. And we can choose the color from the drop down. So I'm just going to choose green. And that is it. So now let's take a look at our calendar. So now we have the 2023 calendar available. Now it's time to create the day days. So let's go to the events sheet and then type in first, let's do a weekly day day. So I'm going to call it a weekly pay day. And I will choose the week. Um, event type to be pay day, and then I will put in Jan 2023, Jan 1st, 2023, and December 31st, 2023 is the end date. And I want this to be a weekly event. And which day of the week do I want this pay day to be? Let's say I want it every Friday. I'm just going to put one in Friday. And there we have it. We have a weekly payroll calendar. Now you can export it to PDF and share or print and use. That is it. So, so, so simple. Now, let's make it a little bit more fun. What if it's every other Friday or bi-weekly? So, I'm just going to call it bi-weekly on the event name. And then I'm going to put in n equals 2, which tells the template to create an event every second Friday. There we have it. So, we have every second bi-weekly payday calendar. Now, let's go to the monthly event type. So monthly, we will have to change the frequency type to be monthly. And we want to make sure that regardless of the day of the week, if it is the first of the month, I want the calendar to display it. So first of every month is now displayed on the calendar. Great. Now, what if it's the last day of the month? No problem. Just choose the last day of the month from the frequency type. Template will automatically pick the last day of the month. For February, it will pick up the 28th here. And for March, it's 31st. But for April, it's 30th. So it knows which is the last day of the month. For the last scenario, we have semi-monthly, where we have two days in a month. So you could, for example, have 1st and 15th or 15th and the last day. So let's try the 15th and the last day. So we already have the last day on the calendar already. So let's do of uh, 15th of month and I can just now change it to of 1 15 so January 15 start on the January 15 and end on December 31st let's say and this time it is a monthly frequency and I want it to be displayed on all weekdays uh, applicable and there we have it so 15th and 31st 15th and 28th 15th and 30th you have all the months automatically displaying these two days on the calendar as a pay day. So what if I tell you that we haven't even scratched 1% of the capability of this template. This template can create seven different calendar designs along with 12 different automated recurring types of events. And you can also customize the colors according to your needs and a lot more. And one more thing. This doesn't work just for 2023. It will work for any year. So please check out this calendar and other such simple and effective tools on inzara.com. I wish you a healthy and happy 2023. Thank you.